Welcome to the 2024 Planar Championship Series, a prestigious competition on the worst possible commander show, brought to you by Cool Stuff Inc. and Ultimate Guard. I'm Cover Gogina. And I'm Stokes. The Planar Championship allows our cast to battle for supremacy on their favorite planes in the world of Magic the Gathering. CGB and Blake became the champions of Kamigawa and Zendikar. What plane are they battling on next, Gina? We are planeswalking to Strixhaven on the plane Arcavios. That's right, it's back to school season, so let's find out who slacked off and who studied up, starting with the Zendikar champion. Blake is letting his creative side flourish in College Prismari this week under the guidance of his commander, Veyran, Voice of Duality. Since this Spellslinger deck will be doubling up triggers, you could say he'll be getting extra credit. His backpack is full of ways to reduce the cost of instants and sorceries and deal tons of burn damage to his opponents. By embracing his inner theater kid, he'll be putting on an unforgettable performance today. I asked Blake about his preparation, and he said he plans to stay on stage to the very end to show everyone why he is the star of the show. At his worst possible, Blake will overload the stack with tons of triggers from Thousand Year Storm and Mizzix's Mastery. CGB is nose deep in the history books of college lore hold with his commander, Ozgear the Reconstructor. This artifact reanimator deck takes historic permanents out of the graveyard and copies them into the present. Silly CGB, those belong in a museum. His worst possible discovery is a portal to Phyrexia, which would flip the tables on all of his classmates. Shay will be getting her hands dirty and studying botany in College Witherbloom with her commander, Dina Soul Steeper. This life gain and drain deck will suck the souls of all of her opponents. There will be no room for seeds of doubt in Shay's garden. When asked about her mindset for this match, Shay said, every day I'm brustling, but in this championship match, I'm not mossing around. The card to fear here is Exquisite Blood. When matched with Dina, the combo will get her an A for Atoll. Atoll's right, Gina. Our resident mathematician, Ben, has been running the numbers and the only answer is Adrix and Nev, twin casters. This token deck will double their trouble and double Ben's fun. Ben has factored in every possible outcome and found one path to victory. He will count on computation, to create replication causing complication from accumulation of the token's multiplication, leading to his opponent's devastation and his own celebration. It all adds up to victory. When asked for a quote, Ben said, why do plants hate math? Because it gives them square roots. That sounds like a direct threat to Shay. The worst possible here is, is math homework. Very threatening indeed. Our competitors have been studying hard, but there can be only one champion of Strixhaven. The winner will get to claim all the college scarves as their trophy. Before we begin, we'd like to thank our sponsors, CoolStuffInc.com, where you can use the promo code WORST to save 5% off at checkout, and Ultimate Guard, the only brand our crew sleeves up with. Gina, I was talking to CGB before the show, and he wanted me to tell you, thank you so much for 19 great years and for putting up with such a crazy blue mage. <laughs> <laughs> Self-described words, ladies and gentlemen, I did not choose it. Now let's go now from the desk of the commander table. Blake won the die roll. Let the nonsense begin. Before we begin though, there are some announcements. We actually just had a birthday, two birthdays on the show. Shay and CGB share a birthday and their birthday was just this last weekend. So a huge happy birthday from the cast and crew. Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! you. <laughs> Happy <laughs> birthday <laughs> to <laughs> you! God, it's so loud! <laughs> Happy birthday <laughs> to <Shades> you! <laughs> Happy, Happy birthday, birthday to you! Well, thank you for that. <laughs> That's all I wanted. All I wanted for my birthday was to not be the villain in the comments for a week. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. All right. Oh anyway, my goodness. I'll leave your love for the two of them in the comments, because God knows I won't, so. <laughs> 
<laughs> thank you, Blake. You're a good friend. Yeah, thank thanks, you. Blake. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yep. And with that, oh, go ahead. Yeah, we're birthday twins. I know, isn't that crazy? We didn't know when we started making the show, yeah. but we found out later. Like, yeah. we are birthday uh, twin casters. Nice. Double birthday over nice. here. Yes. Yeah. And Ben and I are share half, yeah. well, his half birthday is my birthday and vice right. versa. So half it's. Birthday? Yeah. yeah. It's one of your many unbirthdays. <laughs> <laughs> I, I feel like they just want to feel included. That's okay. Mm. That's okay. Yeah. <laughs> In any case, I'm going to draw for turn. Let's go. <laughs> I'm going to play a tap storm carved coast and pass the turn. I'll draw for turn. I'll play moss wart bridge and look at the top four. It's just a hide and wait and just a feeling. Hide away. Hide good choice. Away. That card. Yeah, good choice. Thanks. I think I think you'll like it actually, Blake. Okay. Scared. Go ahead, Shay. I'll draw. I'll play a prismatic vista. I'll crack it right away. I'm gonna get a forest. The question is, is there a mana dork? Oh. She didn't pass the turn yet. My guess is yes. Mm. I have not passed the turn yet. Delighted halfling. Elves of deep shit. Oh, good, show, good call, good call. It's a delighted halfling. Oh, jeez, he's on fire. Maybe it's my birthday. <laughs> uh, then I'll pass. Draw. Tapped myriad landscape, pass. I'll untap, draw for turn. Island, is it Signet? It is. Classic, classic uh. jokes from CGB. I love that. Um, and then I'm gonna pass to you, Benjamin. Okay, I'll untap, draw for turn. Play an island, tap two. Play bloom tender. Tendies. And then those blooms. <laughs> I'm partial to the dino attendees, but that's just me. <laughs> Untap, draw. Swamp. I'll pay three for an ancient cornucopia. Whenever you cast a spell that's one or more colors, you may gain one life for each of that spell's colors. Do this only once each turn. Uh, I'll pass the turn. Draw for turn. I'll also untap because I'm feeling frisky. Mountain and Mindstone. Go ahead, Blake. All right, well, I'm feeling frisky, so I'm going to untap. Draw. I'll play a Sekenzin. Going to tap two for my Stormcatch Mentor. So 1-1 one, one Haste Prowess that makes instants and sorceries cost one less to cast. It's Ooh. an otter, though. It is an otter. Yeah. Otter wizard, dude. Yeah. I'm going to go to combat. CG. <laughs> <laughs> You can't attack us both. <laughs> I try. I try. I assume that's for me. So that's for you, one. one, buddy. Yep, you got it. Um, then tap two more for a Kessig Flame Breather. Ooh. Uh, whenever I cast a non-creature spell, this deals one damage to each opponent. It's like a bad gutter snake. It begins. Mm. And I will pass. I'll untap. Draw for turn. Play an Ancient Tomb. I'll tap four, taking two damage. Play Adrix and Nev, twin casters. Oh, look who's not at 39. One at Blake. <laughs> okay, I'll block with my 1 3. Oh. No. <laughs> I thought that was an artifact or something. Nope, that's Whoops. a 1 3. Right, sure, uh, sir. Uh, <laughs> I thought, that was, I thought that was our <laughs> all, right, all right, you get one, Ben. You get right, one. I'm you sorry. get one wake-up so call. Sorry. You know, to be fair, when he played it, he didn't declare it as a 1-3 human shaman. That's true. It is creature type. He also put it suspiciously far to the yeah. side yeah. of the sure, play map, true. where artifacts and enchantments are known to live. Intentional deception. Deception from Blake. Are you guys going to let me get away with it? On our birthdays. No. Yeah. <laughs> Unbelievable. I deceived somebody else. It's your <laughs> present. I'll just pass the check. I'll untap. And drop. I'll pay two to cast Dina, Soul Steeper. That is going to trigger my ancient cornucopia, and I believe I'll gain two life. Yep. Oh, you're lucky. That does you're happen. lucky I'm tapped out. It does happen before Dina enters, though. Okay. So you're spared the Dina <clears throat> trigger this time. Then I'll pay three for Warren Soul Trader. It's a 3-3 three, three zombie goblin wizard, and I can pay a life, sacrifice another creature, create a treasure token. Then I'll pass the turn. Untap up, keep draw. 
I will play Shatter Skull the Hammer Pass Tapped and pass the turn with a slight problem with my deck. Go on. <laughs> you might notice a lack of white mana. No! It's okay. It's okay. Don't feel bad. Sorry, let me phrase that. Yes! <laughs> There's a, there it is. I will untap. Draw for turn. Tap three for my commander. Veyran. Voice of duality. Here we go. I'm going to pay two life. I'm going to cast a Jutaxian Probe, and I'm going to target CGB with it. You sure you want to see this? <laughs> I'm so curious. I really don't CGB, want you to I'm see this. I'm checking you out between every turn. I might as well check you out on my turn. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. I'm risen him uh. up in the game. <laughs> And it's working. It is It is his birthday. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Hold on, I'm just going to tuck a certain card behind a certain other card where it can't be found. Heard that. Uh, Before it resolves, I've got a bunch of triggers, though. That's true. So, uh, Stormcatch Mentor is going to trigger twice because of Aran. Getting plus two, plus two. Kessig Flame Breather is going to do two damage to each opponent. In response, Sacrifice Mirrored Landscape for two planes. So, two to everybody. Hey. Will somebody get mine? Yep. While I shuffle. It requires both hands and my chest. Yes, it does. Yeah. <laughs> Continue. Yeah. Um, let me see your hand, baby. Mm. Oh, yeah, that. <laughs> Yo, whoop. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing. Beta, be cool. Be cool. I can't believe you have six planes in hand in mirrored landscape. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it's insane what I'm doing right now. Yeah, yeah. Be cool. All right, that is a hand of magic cards. I'm gonna move to combat now. Okay. I'm gonna attack you with my Stormcatch Mentor. Okay. And to CGB, I'm gonna attack you for one on the ground. Priority? No response. None Blocks. for me. I'll take one. I'll take three. And I'll pass to Ben. Team 36. Woo! Okay, I'll untap. I'm trying to keep you guys even. If you haven't noticed. I'll play a command tower for turn. I'll tap six. Hang two. From Ancient Tomb to cast Essex Fractal Bloom. Mm. Four four flying. And the first time I would create one or more tokens during each of your turns, I may instead choose a creature other than Essex and create that many tokens of that are copies of that creature. So then I'll pass the check. Ben's gonna learn us a thing or two. Untap and draw. Uh, paying three plus one for offspring, I'll cast mm -hmm. Dark Star Augur. Mm -hmm. It's got, got flying, it's a two three at the beginning of your upkeep, reveal the top card of your library, and put that card into your hand. You lose life equal to his mana value. Uh, that's gonna trigger my ancient cornucopia. I'll gain a life. You will all lose a life. You. <laughs> CGB. Yes. I'm gonna attack you with Dina and my what? <gasps> birthday twinsy. <laughs> Oops, sorry. Birthday betrayal. No. <laughs> oh, no. Birthday betrayal. That's four damage. It's the worst kind. I go to 31. Yep. I hate it. Thanks. I hate it here. You're welcome. <laughs> I'll pass a turn. Untap. We're gonna have I'll fun keep this draw. I'll play a four Mori Vault as my land for turn. It taps for a colorless. It also three and it taps to discard and look at cards and put all artifacts. It we'll cover it if I do it. Hi. Hey. Hey. Just curious what you're gonna do this turn. I think you know what I want to do this yeah. turn. Can you agree it might be for the best? Yeah, sure. Oh no. Okay, you, you think so? I'm not gonna counter if that's what you're asking. Yeah, that's basically what I'm asking. Yeah, I'll let it resolve. Uh huh. Mm. She promised to be my best friend. <laughs> we are Forever. best. Ever. We're totally oh. best friends. BFFs? Say it. Oh. Yay, I'll take it. It counts. I <laughs> <laughs> didn't say anything. Why are you putting on <laughs> Wait, what? Because now it's my birthday because you said we're best friends. <laughs> you got it bored. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right, guys. <laughs> You might, you might think the semester just started, but it's already time to go home. Farewell. Oh, snap. I will respond. Yes, I have to declare modes. Oh, declare modes. All of them. Good choice. <laughs> 
You said best friends forever. <laughs> yeah, well, I wasn't gonna disrupt it, but I will pass priority. No responses. Ugh. Like an arena. <laughs> and Ugh. I will pass the turn. Hmm. I will untap. Draw for turn. I'm gonna play tap Shadow Skull, the hammer pass, and pass the turn. I'll untap, draw for turn. I'll lightning bolt in, tangle span, bridge works, and tap five, paying two for ancient tomb. Nobody has that, to kill Ben, he's doing it all. Yeah, he's got right. it. <laughs> he's to got pass it. my command. Adrix and that. Back in action. Go ahead. Untap, draw. I'll pay four for Yogmoth. Ooh, the three in position. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I'll pass. Untap draw. I will cast Alibu, Ancient Witness. Is that how you say it? Yeah. Alibu. <laughs> Tight. Uh, this is a four or five legendary artifact creature golem. Other artifact creatures have haste. Whenever one or more artifact creatures I control attack, this does X damage to any target, and I scry X, where X is the number of tapped artifacts I control. Does it resolve? Yes, it does. I will pass. I will untap. I'm gonna tap three. I'm gonna play a gutter snipe. Uh, uh. I'm gonna cast a thought scour targeting myself. Everyone's gonna take two. Ouch. I will mill two. Burgi, God of Storytelling, Harmonic Prodigy, draw. Pass to you, Ben. Draw for turn. Tapping two for a Fanatic of Ronus. It'd be scary if he ever gets a four power creature. True. I'm gonna tap four, taking two again to play a Helm of the Host. Ooh. Hello. Mm. I think that warns another half. <laughs> yeah, it does it? Wait. I, oh, on you. I, I thought what, you meant on uh, me. What is happening right now? <laughs> He's trying to win at something. I don't know if it's the game. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Well. I thought you were going to stack him, but you're it's just putting him in different spots. Definitely a creature from my nightmares. So <laughs> <laughs> is it really that crazy? I bet it is. It's, it's really pretty scary. weird looking. <laughs> I'll just stack them. How does that sound? I, 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 I okay. Anyway, <laughs> go ahead, Shay. He's trying to distract us. Yeah. He's trying to yeah. derail us from what's happening. It's my strat. Yeah. Untap and draw. A blink. <laughs> <laughs> blink. <laughs> if you may, I'm going to play a command tower. This is a serious magic show. <laughs> yeah. Get it together. Sorry, famously serious blink. So serious. <laughs> Uh, I'll cast a Death Greeter. Whenever another creature is put into a graveyard from the battlefield, you may gain one life. And then I'll pay four to cast Dina again. Ooh. Ooh. Blake, I'm swinging at you with Yawgmoth. Yeah, I'll take it. Cool. I'll pass the turn. I will play an Exotic Orchard, and let's bring out my friend and yours, the Bronze Guardian. This is a star five double striker with ward two and other artifacts I control have ward two. Its power is equal to the number of artifacts I control. And because it's an artifact creature, it has haste. We're not yeah. friends anymore, me and the Bronze Guardian. Oh, okay. Yeah. Well, I should probably just uh, attack, uh, yeah, I should uh, attack yeah. Ben. Oh! Because <laughs> Helm of the Host is freaking terrifying. Mm. Yeah, Ben. So this is two attacking artifact creatures. One is a two five double strike and the other is a four or five. Now when I attack, I will deal two damage to any target and I will scry two. And I don't see a reason not to kill that gutter snipe. Not one. Mm. So that's out of there. Good play, good play. Death trigger. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be a death greeter trigger. Um, I will gain a life. Everybody loses a life because of Dina. Ping, ping, pong. I will scry two. Oh, bottom one of them. And I've had a delightful time. I'll pass the turn to Blake. I'm gonna draw. No. Blake, Blake, no. Blake, Blake. No, hear me out. You wanna hear this. You wanna hear this. Unlikely. Go if ahead. you <laughs> solve the helm bra if you solve the helm of the host problem. Yeah. I will offer you another party hat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he's already got a red one. Right, Blake? <laughs> 
That's a good point. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, offer on the table. <laughs> nice. Now, well. if I told you I didn't have any way, shape, or form to deal with it, can I still have that? <laughs> no. That hurt. That hurt. Well, after that dramatic display, I'm going to play a soul ring. A tiny Miku. I know. This is actually, the flavor text is very poignant right now. For her birthday, Miku received a gift that shines as brightly as she does. May I have your soul ring? No. <laughs> it has to shine as brightly as you do, so it would have to be like a Phyrexian portal to Phyrex here or something. <laughs> it's weird that you would say that. <laughs> A little foreshadowing. In any case, I'm gonna play a Fabled Passage. I'm gonna pay four for Ashling Flame Dancer. Ashling is a four mana, four, four. You don't lose unspent red mana as steps and phases end. It's got Magecraft, so whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery, uh, I discard a card, then I draw a card. If this is the second time this ability is resolved this turn, deals two damage to each opponent. And if it's the third, and each creature they control, and if it's the third time I add four red mana, I'm gonna actually pass to Ben. Hmm. Okay, I'll untap. All right, well, I'm gonna tap five, taking two, to not do what you said would be scary or anything. I'm gonna respond. Oh, oh. equipping the hell with those. Respond. I'm gonna crack my Fabled Passage. Okay. Gonna get a mountain, yeah. and then I'll pass priority. Don't drop the Darkwing Gods into my That's what I'm saying. Awesome. Guess I'll go to combat. Oh, look at that, I have a trigger. Oh God. This is not good, guys. This is very, very, very yeah. not good. Mm. Made two copies of Adric and Nev. Uh-huh. Nev. It's Nev. Nev. <laughs> I think I like Nev better, sorry, Shay. What's up, CGB? Bring it. Six damage, coming at you. Dang. Mm, yep. Two command. I mean, I have identified the threat, guys. Yeah. He was the one most scared of it, so. I'll play Otawara as my land drop for turn. I'll pass the strike. Um, <laughs> tap. I'll pay two for Gallag Readers. Yeah, the party's here. The party's here. One. Um. If you guys okay. don't interrupt my board, I can deal with the problem. Like all of the problem? Correct. Or a part of the problem? It's two damage to each opponent and each creature they control. True. Oh god, do we want Ash? Are we on the side of Ashling? Oh god. Yeah, okay, all right. Just all right. throwing that out there. Okay. No, that's useful. Just throwing that out there, Ben. That definitely helps. Yep. Yeah, yeah. I'm gonna be real chill and pass. Oh, that is chill. Untap, draw. Is that a soul ring over there? Come on. Is that a soul ring can't over do there? It. I can't do the thing if you kill my soul ring. Is that a soul ring over yes, there? Yes, that is a soul ring. Just checking. I'm gonna play a Sculpting Steel. I would like a copy of that Soul Ring. Oh yeah, you can have it. I paid three for it, still good. Yeah, <laughs> it's just a Worn Power Stone. It's better than a Worn Power yes, Stone. Yes, I know, because it enters the I know, I was like, <laughs> someone's gonna fucking say it. Ben's gonna say it. Ben's gonna um actually, man. Ben's gonna um actually. Live and in the flesh. All right, I will take three for Razor Grass Field and go to 19. Love that oh. for me, yeah. I'll tap this and I will play Lightning Greaves. We know that one. We love that one. Mm -hmm. I'll move that to Alibu, <laughs> Ancient Witness. How to handle the attacks here. So, like, Shay's got the life game deck. Hmm. For your consideration. I didn't attack you. That is true. <laughs> it feels weird to do that, but you also have the highest life total. Literally the highest life total. And it's very much like part of what your deck is cooking with. Mm -hmm. I mean, the other option I have is to like try to take like take pieces off your board, mm -hmm. which I think you would like far less. That's true. So I am uh, use it or lose it mode going to attack Shay with Alibu, and I'm going to leave back the Bronze Guardian. When I attack, I'm going to deal two damage to any target because I have two tapped artifacts and I'm going to scry two. I'm going to make the two points Shay's face okay. and there's a four or five coming at you. I'm not gonna block. All right, so that's a total of six. I'll just leave both on top, Oh, I guess. Whoa. And uh, I'll pass the turn. And your turn, I'm gonna float three red mana. Cooking. Draw for turn. 
I'm gonna spend five mana, including two of my three floating red, to replay Veyran Voice of Duality. Oh, I said bye to that one. He says hello. I'd like it to stay gone. <laughs> no. Um, if that resolves, we're gonna go like this. Tapping two plus using my one floating red that's left, I'm going to cast a Frantic Search. Oh yeah. It's gonna do many, many things. Oh my God. This is gonna put a couple triggers on the stack. First off, we're gonna put two plus one plus one, not counters, but just until end of turn, plus two plus two on Vayran. All right. All right, second trigger on the stack. In response. Mm -hmm. Oh. I'm gonna tap two and repudiate that trigger. Oh, oh. oh and my twin casters to die. <laughs> all, all three of them. <laughs> Were you, I don't think Blake was here for the, the he Ben was. repudiate game. Yeah. yeah, yeah, Gina was playing that game. Yeah. You don't know, Ben's a repudiator. <laughs> yep. A repeat repudiator? He's a repeat repudiator. <laughs> he repudiated me when I tried to kill him, now he's repudiating you. This man is a menace and a re known repudiator. <laughs> you son of a... Unbelievable. I will... Yeah, you will counter the second trigger. <laughs> <laughs> All right, frantic search will resolve. I will draw no. two. Not like this. So with frantic search, I'm going to discard an offer you can't refuse and grape shot and untap three lands. Uh huh. You got one. What you got there? Two cards. Two cards. About to be one. No. How many cards does everyone have in hand? Oh geez. <laughs> three. <laughs> two. Three. I will cast a Jessica's Will targeting Benjamin. Okay. It's gonna do a couple things. This Cheers. is going to make Varan a 6-6 six, six until end of turn. Ashling is gonna trigger twice now. Okay, so the first one, we'll if, if everyone's cool with Ashling resolving, yeah. I will discard Underworld Breach. Yes! To draw an unknown card. You're telling us there's a chance. Um, this is gonna do two damage to each creature and each, each creature you guys control and each of you. Yeah, because it's the second time the ability is resolved. Resolved, yep, yeah, it's not triggered. You don't have another repudiate for zero, do you? <laughs> I know. No. Oh, okay. You do still have one mana from the Ronus. Any responses? No. Responses, Shay. Um, yes. I would like to sacrifice my Gallic Readers to Yogmoth, paying one life. So that I may draw a card. I'll also get to put a minus one, minus one counter on up to one target creature. I will put the minus one, minus one on Bayran. Okay, he's a five, five. Cool. Gallag Readers dies. I will draw my card. Right, so I'll gain a life from the Death Greeter from the Gallag Readers. Um, and then Dina's gonna ping everyone for one. Ouch. All right, and then I may as well do it again with the Death Greeter to Yogmoth. So pay a life, sacrifice. I'll do another minus one, minus one there. Okay, then I'll draw off of that. <clears throat> they runs a 4-4 four, four that will die at the end of my turn. Those are my responses. I have no responses. So two damage to each of your opponents and their creatures? Yep. All right. No. Sorry, Ben. Okay. Then I will actually resolve this final um, Ashling trigger. So I will discard Seagate Restoration to draw a card and make four red mana floating in my mana pool. Now I will resolve my Jessica's Will. This will put another three mana in the mana pool. That is red variety. Ooh, ah. And I will exile three cards. Make them suck. No. It's my birthday, not his. <laughs> yeah, it's your birthday, man. You can cry if you want to. Jessica's Will goes to the graveyard. Yeah, so I hit a Coruscation Mage, which is an Otter Wizard, a Goblin Electromancer, which is a Goblin Wizard, and a Talisman of Creativity, which is not a wizard. And then I will go ahead and spend four of my floating seven to cast Coruscation Mage with Offspring. So I'm gonna get a baby mage. All right, so now I have two Coruscation Mages. Yes, you do. I'm gonna spend a blue plus one of my floating red to cast Goblin Electromancer. Yeah. And then I will end by casting, using my last two floating red, a Talisman of Creativity, which will do a number of things. That number is two, and that is gonna be two damage twice to each of you. So four damage to each of you. We each take four from your Talisman of Freaking Creativity. It's creative. 
I don't like E. I don't like that. Um, you have a 4 4 that can attack. Oh, and he's gonna, because he's about to get capped. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna so? go to combat and I'm gonna attack Shay with my 4 4. Shoot. That face. <laughs> you literally have my. You, Bayran is like on. He's on borrowed time. He's about to die. Do it, Shay. <laughs> Do it. Double Bar block it. Ooh. What if instead no, no. I putrefy it? Oh, okay. now you putrefy it. She used it. She used it and she putrefied it out. That's disgusting. <laughs> Putrid. I don't want to deal with it anymore. Okay, Shay, well, you're about to deal with Ben's turn. Go ahead. <laughs> Cleanup step, baby. Fuck. <laughs> How do you, we've seen Bayran on the show a few times, okay? Yeah. We're not sorry. No. Yeah. <laughs> That's fair. Murderer. Still done, buddy? Yeah. Okay, I'll untap. I'll draw for two. I'm going to tap. All my mana, including my dork, for eight to recast Adrix and Nav. Did you take your two from your tomb? I did not, actually. <laughs> taking, <laughs> taking hits. Uh, Untap, draw. Play Mox Amber. I'll pay three for Phyrexian Arena. And then I'll pay a green for Elves of Deep Shadow. Ooh, yeah, good art. <laughs> I'm going to pass the turn. Huh, chillin', huh? Yep. Draw is not very Shay-like. Don't look at me like that. Don't look at me with that tone of voice. What? What are you about to do? What are you gonna do? Oh, just no. cast it. You know what it is. I do. You know what it is. I don't You're know just gonna have You know what it is. is. Oh. Let me know what it is. There's sure. nothing I could do. I'll let you know. know. Yeah. I'll let you know. You could have warned him. You could have warned him. What is all what the Why did you warn him, Blake Portal to Phyrexia? Oh. I kinda uh, did. <laughs> I like literally said it's like you did say it. I did. did. I was trying to not just straight up tell everyone your hand, but I was like, I loved it. Here I we loved are. every bit of it. Boom! Okay. Uh, each of my opponents sacrifice three creatures. Darn! I only have two. In response, I'll sacrifice Elves of Deep Shadow and Dina to Yogma. So that's going to be two life and two cards. And two cards, and then Yogma will die. Change. Oh boy, we go to combat. We go to combat. Oh, I don't know. High life total. Just took a bunch of game actions. So he doesn't have any ones or twos in his life total. Tends to mm -hmm. talk trash to me on a regular <laughs> basis. <laughs> just, just attack me. I deserve it. <laughs> yep. Let's go. I have five artifacts on the battlefield, so the bronze guardian is a five-five double strike, and I have three tapped artifacts. So Adabu is going to deal three damage to. We'll call it Shay Face. What? And I'm going to scry three. All right. We'll put them back in this order and see what you got, Blake. I've got 14 for you. Well, you know what I got? Two fingers. Nothing. All right. Welcome to the teens. Yay. Your turn. Gonna untap and draw to recast Bayran. And then I'll play a scalding turn. And then I'll pass it back. Show you, Mega. Flooded! Seven! Weird number. Yeah. On my upkeep, I will draw and lose one to the Phyrexian Arena. Then I'll draw for turn. For five. Gary! Gray Merchant? Yes. Okay. So when he enters, each opponent loses X life or X is your devotion to black. That is four. You gain life equal to the life lost this way. No responses. Sounds no good response. to me. Everyone loses four. Ouch, I go to eight. And I gain 12. 12. Blocker might make a difference, so I'm gonna shotgun this overgrown tomb, and I'll tap it for a green for this African swallow, AKA Birds of Paradise. <laughs> ah, nice. <laughs> nice, that's awesome. Uh, then I'll pass. Go into my upkeep. Trigger from Portal of Phyrexia. What creatures are in these yards? I'll take the Gallagreeters. Let, let, let's let's Gallagreet some folks here. I don't know, there's a part of this line of text that I really like. I will draw. Let's go. Worm Coil Engine. Fancy new schmanchy art. Worm Coil Engine. Whoa. 
Death Touch, Lifelink, when it dies, create a 3-3 three, three with Death Touch and a 3-3 three, three with Lifelink. That will trigger Gallag Readers. I'm gonna choose Gain 2 Life. Go up to 10. Every point might matter in this one. Combat. Let's get it over with. I mean, either he's got it or he doesn't. I'm going to attack Shea with Alibu. I'm going to attack Blake with Worm Coil Engine. I'm going to attack Ben with Bronze Guardian. Bronze Guardian is currently a 6-5 Double Striker. On attacks, I have four tapped artifacts, so I'll deal four damage to any target, and I'm going to scry four. I'm going to point four points at the Gary, because if everything, for some reason, were to get returned to hand, I don't want that in her hand. <laughs> Fair. Shoot. Okay. So, what's what you guys got? Just a bronze guardian is coming at me. Yeah, just that. Mm. It is very lethal to you. <laughs> to yeah, be fair. Are. What are the, the other two are going at? One at Blake, one at Shay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alibu is at Shay, and Worm Coil is at Blake. You got a response, Blake? No. Okay. I'm gonna tap seven. Oh, oh weird, God. isn't it? Lose two. <laughs> and overload a cyclonic. The coveted oh, yeah, no board state psych riff, dude. The never seen. Uh, yep, yep, uh, yep, yep, yep. I had a feeling. I had a feeling. Any response, Shay? Nope. Pick them up, gamers. I will play a Mishra's Bobble. And I will sack it. And I want to look at the top card of Blake's library. That is a very interesting card to be aware of. Well, that makes me not want to crack my sculpting tar. I mean, you probably should. Okay. You should definitely just crack that scalding tar. Oh, okay, and maybe not. Second main. Uh, let's drop the lightning greaves again and pass the turn. I'm just going to have to make the right play regardless of what my inputs from my opponents are. Fair enough. When they're enough. not relevant. I'm going to crack my scalding tar. Invert polarity shuffle. <laughs> 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 I'm gonna get a Thundering Falls and Surveil 1. Surveil Island into the graveyard. I will untap. Draw. I will draw on your upkeep from the bottle. I'm gonna play Soul Ring. I'm gonna play Talisman. I'm gonna play Veyran, and I'm gonna cast a Double Vision. Ooh. Okay. I am heck bent. Whenever, and... whenever you cast your first instant or sorcery spell each turn, copy it. Yes. What double vision is. I have nothing in my graveyard I can cast. So I will pass the bend. I'm going to tap four and eternalize Fanatic of Ronus. So he's a four four. Uh, I'll pass the turn to Shay. Okay. Three, four, five Rexy and Arena. Again. Get Again. Your, your and two for Gallic Readers. Birds of Paradise. Oh yeah, oh, that's yeah, right. Yeah, it's also <laughs> dead. Yeah. Um, when that enters off the Gallic Readers, I think I'm gonna make a tap treasure token. Good choice, here's a treasure. And I'm done. All right, tap draw. Three mana, Sculpting Steel again. If no responses, Hatsune Miku Soaring. Nice, good choice. <laughs> Very bad. important. That the art is copied. Yes. <laughs> Bring out Ozgear. A lightning greaves to Ozgear. Any response? Nope. Who is it? It's it's gotta Copy be. Me. Blake, four points yep. coming at you. Vigilant. Haste. Shroud. Post combat. Exile the Mishra's Bobble from my graveyard. Create two tokens that are copies of it. Don't worry. We're just pitching them. We're just pitching them. I am going to target Blake, and I'm going to target Ben. I want to know the top cards of your library. Oh, that's a doozy. <laughs> uh, it's a land. More doozy, I would say. More doozy. <laughs> Significantly Dude. doozy. Huh. Sorry, you're out. You're getting out top deck by I Ben. I hate if nothing out changes. Out. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. If nothing changes, Ben's going to draw out dry so bad. I have a feeling it's not going to change. I'm going to uh, move to end step and pass to you, Blake. I will untap. On your upkeep, I will draw once, and then I will draw again. Pass. Not the best, I know. What a doozy. <laughs> Go ahead, Ben. I'll untap. Draw for turn. 
I'm gonna tap five, paying two life, to equip the helm of the host to the fanatic of Ronan. Ronus. No response. I'll go to combat. Yeah. And make a copy. Yeah. I'll skip combat. What? And is tap happening? two, and then both of my fanatics to cast my commander for ten. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. And then I'll pass the shay. <laughs> you did it. You did it. <laughs> All right. In my upkeep, Phyrex and Arena triggers. I will draw and lose one. I'll draw for turn. Play Bajuka Bog as my land for turn. Target. I have a farewell. I have a good graveyard. Yeah, I'll target Blake's graveyard. I'll play Mox Amber. I'll pay two for a Wither Bloom Apprentice. Whenever you cast or copy an instant or sorcery spell, each opponent loses a life and you gain a life. Uh, Galley Greeters will trigger. I'll make another tap treasure token. Then I'll pay two for a deadly brew. Each player sacrifices a creature or planeswalker. Oh. If you sacrifice a permanent this way, you may return another permanent card from your graveyard to your hand. Oh. Uh, when I cast a deadly brew, that's gonna be a Wither Bloom Apprentice trigger. I will gain a life, everyone loses a life. Nine. Okay, and then that will go through. I'm gonna sacrifice my Birds of Paradise. Osgear goes down. Veyron. Sacrifice my origin, the one equipped with the Helm of the Host. And because I sacrificed a creature, I can return one from my graveyard to my hand, and I'm gonna choose the Gray Merchant. Oh. Gary's coming home. Ooh. Uh oh. That's all I got. I'm done. Let's go. Threefold Thunderhulk. When this enters the battlefield uh, with three plus one plus one counters on it, whenever it enters the battlefield or attacks, create a number of one one colorless gnome artifact creature tokens equal to its power to an attack sack an artifact for a plus one plus one counter. All right, three plus one plus one counters and three little gnomey friends. All right, Lightning Greaves on the Threefold Thunderhulk. Resolve, mm -hmm. combat, Who's catching these gnome mitts? <laughs> ben is at three, so it's gonna force him to block. Ben, it's coming at you. It's gotta be. I'm gonna attack you with a three, three, threefold Thunder Hulk that's going to make three more gnomes. I block it. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> you just paid 10 for that. Yeah, I did, yeah. Oh, I feel I your did, pain. I did do that. Yeah. Moving to end step, I'm going to discard Combustible Gear Hulk and Mycosynth Wellspring, and we pass it, and we'll see. Blake, can draw. You draw it. Island. They ran. <laughs> yeah. 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 Pass. Resolve. Pass. Oh. I'll untap. I'm going to tap five to equip the helm of the host to the Verona. <laughs> yeah. I'll go to combat, create a token of them, and I'll pass the shay. I'll untap, Phyrexian Arena trigger, lose a life, draw a card. I'll draw for turn. I'll play Radiant Fountain as my land for turn. When it enters, I will gain two life. I'm glad Dina's not around for this. <laughs> yeah. And I'll pay five for the Gray Merchant. Gary, he's back. Coming right back out. Uh, pass priority. Same here. In response to him on the stack, mm -hmm. I will tap three, paying two life, to destroy your Phyrexian arena. <laughs> <laughs> what? <person. laughs> Just as you're going down. Yeah. Get it, get it Turn into a three. three I'm kind of mad that he gave her I the know. three three. It's like, <laughs> that's not good for us. It's definitely better for Shay. <laughs> that's hilarious. All right. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Shay. Thank you. Ben got you a beast. I yeah. Have a beast. That will trigger the Gala Greeters. I'm going to gain two life. When the Grey Merchant enters, Gala Greeters will trigger again, and I'm going to make a tap treasure token. And then Grey Merchant trigger? Then he enters. Yeah. So my devotion to black is three. Yep, I'll lose three. I'll die. I <laughs> Another death to Gary. It was the yep. Cadillac. I was trying to get that out oh. all game. Oh. <laughs> oh, I never the had nickname card. Yeah, yeah. I never had ten yeah. total power. And like Ben likes to say, you have to respect the Cadillac. Yeah. 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 That's great. Yep, and then I'll gain nine life from the merchant. No good attacks. Uh, I'll pass. Okay. 
untaps. Adabu, Ancient Witness has returned. I will attempt to move Lightning Greaves to Adabu. Response? No. Response? I should respond. Mortality Spear. Targeting Abu. Okay. With the Greaves on the stack, targeting Abu with Mortality Spear. Yes. Uh, yes. If the Mortality Spear is cast, then the Wither Bloom Apprentice will go off. I will gain a life. Pinky bolt for one. You're up 40? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> We're up five. Gotta make a stand. Dawn's Truce. I am going to give permanence I control hexproof until end of turn. All right. Gift a card. Fair I'm enough. thinking about it. To your boy. I'm thinking about it. <laughs> I gift a card. Yay! To Blake. All right, so my permanents have hexproof and indestructible until end of turn. Let's go to combat. Mm -hmm. the, oh, the lightning greaves trigger resolves. Yeah. And goes to Adabu. Let's go to combat. Shay. Yes. Yes. <laughs> it's coming at you. So I've got a threefold Thunder Hulk. I've got all of these gnomes, and I've got Alibu, and they are headed in your direction. Uh, upon attack, I have a threefold Thunder Hulk trigger, so I will make three more gnomes. Whew. And Alibu is going to deal damage equal to the number of tapped artifacts I have to any target. Okay. That number is nine. Ooh. Blake, bestie. Yeah? I respect you too much to leave you alive. Oh no. Yeah, <laughs> I do. Fair enough. I respect you too much. Double vision, Vayran, I know what you can do. It's true, I so, was probably gonna win. Nine to your face. <laughs> no! Yes. I was gonna untap. All right, fair enough. <laughs> what did you have? Oh, you know. <laughs> Logician okay, never okay. reveals his lands. <laughs> okay. All right, Shay, these are still attacking you, and they are indestructible and hexproof. Perfect. What's the damage? So if you were, there are one ones, so you do have some free blocks. Okay. If you were to take it all, it's 13. Okay. I will block three of the one ones and take 10. All right, 10 points. 30 to five. <laughs> This is fine. It's totally fine. All right, you and me, Let's your turn. It. Let's do it. Yeah, I'm gonna go to combat. I'm gonna swing with everything. Is this my first attack all game? <laughs> <laughs> is it? It feels like it. What has happened to Shay? <laughs> no, I'm scared. Uh, yep, we're gonna block the three non Gallagreters creatures. So chump block. Each of the others take one from Gallagreters. Does that work? Okay, yep. Yeah. All right, I go to four. Gnomes are dead. Gnomes are dead. <laughs> Paying six. I'm gonna cast Dina. Oh yeah, whenever you gain life, I lose one life. Yes. Yep. Uh, when she enters, a Gallagreters will trigger. I'm gonna gain two life. Okay. And you'll lose a life. I'll go to three. Yep. Paying four, I'm gonna cast an Essence Pulse. What? What's that do? So I gain two life. Each creature gets minus X, minus X until end of turn, where X is the amount of life you gain this turn. Okay, but first you have a trigger. Sure do. Um, so I'm casting a sorcery, so that's gonna be a Wither Bloom Apprentice trigger. I'll gain a life and you'll lose a life. So this is going to mean everything's going to get minus three. Is that right? Um, I believe it'll be minus five because I'll gain two life. Oh from yeah, that gains itself. two as well. Yep. And then this is also going to trigger my Dina. So yeah, I'm... yeah, that trigger is also on the stack. Yep. So on its face right now, it's lethal. Correct. Yep. Uh, I'm going to make a play that would make you proud. <gasps> Teferi's protection. Oh my god. I gotta go. Oh my god, dude. Okay. Oh. <laughs> uh, you got two <laughs> treasures. Any response? This is with this trigger on the stack. No. Nope, no responses. All right, this is exiled. I phase out, life total can't change. Awesome, okay. So I suppose we'll resolve this. Yeah. So I'll gain a life, gain a life. So four life total. All right, so I'll gain three life. You will lose no life. My life total can't change. Can't change. 
You can't change. It's impossible. And then this is gonna resolve, and um, all of just my creatures are gonna get. What did we say? Minus five? Minus six? They're dead. They're all dead. <laughs> they're gonna they're die. Dead. They're gonna <laughs> die. Okay. Yeah, they're all dead. Oh God. I played myself. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Tefarious protection's a heck of a card. That's a heck of a card, dude. Yep, those are all gone. Shattering the hearts of gamers everywhere. Dude, this is crazy. Okay, okay. That's all I got. That's what you got? That's all I got. Okay, phase back in. Oh, I'm so scared. Untap. Draw. I'll play Ganjo. I will bring back the Bronze Guardian. It's going to be very large. I'm going to bring out the Worm Coil Engine. Mm -hmm. They both have haste because of Alibu. Mm -hmm. We're gonna go combat and attack. Holy cow. And we're going to trigger the Thunder Hulk. We're gonna make three new gnomes. You and all your gnomies. Hey. Chilling me, with your gnomies. I like going to school with my gnomies, baby. <laughs> my gnomies are waiting for me. Uh -huh. All right, Alley Boo Trigger, tapped artifacts. One, two, three, four, ten, eleven. Eleven to your face. I scry eleven. Sounds good. I'm gonna keep it on top. Bronze Guardian. Mm -hmm. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, plus six is fifteen power double strike. I'm super dead. Super dead? Super dead. Good game. That was a heck of a Tiberius oh, protection, dude. That's one of the better <laughs> Tiberius protections of my life. Yeah, that was Holy cow. unbelievable. All right. Bring forth oh, the scarves. Of course. It, it is, is, yes, yes, yes. And I am king of the school. Final exams are over and the best grade goes to CGB. He really taught a lesson in board protection. The champ is here, live in studio, to talk about his victory. How did it feel to beat your birthday twin on your birthday? Well, I had a sneaking suspicion it would come down to Shay and I as the two birthday celebrants. But in this case, age triumphed over beauty and I was able to take it down. Mm, yes, the birthday synergy was very real. CGB. What was the CoolStuffInc.com card of the game? There are a lot of contenders on this particular show. I actually thought that the helm of the host shaped a lot of the way that the game went, and the Ashling that Blake played was very, very good. But who am I if I'm going with somebody else's card? Mm -hmm. So we're giving it to Three Fold Thunder Hulk, which was also oddly my nickname in high school. Really? That's very interesting. <laughs> no. I can't help but notice that the Prismari scarf is prominently, prominently featured here. Uh, did, was there special meaning, special joy taken from getting the scarf from Blake, your best friend? This was Blake's? Yes, your best friend. My best friend? Nah, just another day at the office. I barely remember him, to be honest. Hmm, wow. Uh, and what will you take from this master class for the next planar championship? Well, you never know what plane we're going to next, so you have to be prepared for anything. But I will certainly take away a lot of knowledge gained from looking at the history books of how I righteously dominated these noobs. Hmm, yes. And most importantly, what did you get your wife for your anniversary? Well, this has been a really great show. Thank you, CGB. This has been the worst possible Commander show. Please like and subscribe and leave us a comment letting us know which Strixhaven Commander you'd go to school with and what you think CGB should have gotten me for our anniversary. Please support the channel by ordering online from our sponsor, CoolStuffInc.com and get 5% off with the promo code WORST and protect your new cards with products from Ultimate Guard. They're the only ones that our crew trusts for sleeves, deck boxes, and play mats on the show. On behalf of the Covert Go crew, thank you for watching this video. As always, we'll see you in the next video. You're, You're cool. cool.